Hey guys, it's Summer Rain from Homestead, Brooklyn, and it's another rainy day here at Los Sures. But we are coming together to volunteer to build a chicken garden. So all we need to do today is assemble a bed. I'm going to head over to the local garden center with Kippy, my Rhode Island red hen, and we're going to pick out some delicious greens for her. And then we're going to actually plant those greens with some Espoma garden soil and also some biotone to help with the transplant. So let's get started. I know what you like. Surprisingly, Kippy likes cat grass. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get some cat grass. Let's see what else she wants. I know you like nasturtium, so I'm gonna put some in there. Just not, might not be into them right now. Here, wanna try some lettuce? I think you like the water instead. You don't like the butterhead. Yeah, I know you like basil. We'll get some basil for you too. So I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm going to get my chicken some basil, some nasturtiums, and some cat grass, which I think should be rebranded as chicken grass because she does love it. But uh, you can see she's already nibbling away at the, uh, at the cat grass. So, and then she was eating nasturtiums the other day. She wasn't really peckish at it today, but I think it's also because it's rainy. Yeah. So, okay, we're ready to build the chicken garden. So what we have here is a bed that has been assembled together and we want it really close in proximity to where the chickens are so they could just hop down here and actually eat some of the greens, which you could already see they're, <laughs> they're going to town on them right now. They like them so much. So I'm gonna have to get more of that cat grass in order to be able to, to grow this. <laughs> but what we're basically going to do is fill this bed up with the organic garden soil from Espoma and we're going to have some um, pretty shallow holes for some of those plants. Plant them approximately eight inches apart from one another and we're going to use some of this biotone starter mix which is great for transplanting plants because this gives it a little extra boost to make sure that the plants take to their new space in the garden. So let's get started. I really like how healthy this soil looks. I mean, sometimes you get soil in the supermarket or in one of those big box stores and it looks too much like chalky sawdust. This looks ready to go for plants. box has the soil all in place so what I'm gonna do now is just dig some fairly shallow holes I mean I don't even need it's it's just so light and fluffy that I don't even need uh, a, a spade in order to be able to do this so what we'll do is actually plant the cat grass here which should be branded into chicken grass because as, as you can see the chickens love it and then I'll plant basil right here in the middle and nasturtiums in the end What's great about this is that as the chickens eat it, we could constantly replant it. So I'm actually gonna put the biotone in here and all you need to do is just sprinkle a little bit in. And this will help with transplanting and make sure that the plants transplant very easily. So all you need to do is do a little sprinkle. Sometimes I like to put it around the edges as well. This one's really well rooted in here, so there we go. You can see the roots are pretty strong on this cat grass. I'm just gonna fill it in. It's very a very wet day and it's going to be raining all day this week, so I'm not going to have to water this. And dig another hole in, and we're gonna fill it with a little biotone. And again, this has a, a boost of beneficial bacteria, mycorrhizae, that will really give the plants a boost.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And you know what, rain or shine, it's always great to get together with the community and lend a helping hand. So if you like these episodes, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and you can follow along on my journey at my website at homesteadbrooklyn.com and on Instagram at homesteadbrooklyn. Bye.